it's time to get blazed with one of my favorite drug stocks that is, dare I say, smoking hot. I can't resist, but I, you know I'm talking about one of my favorites. It's GW Pharmaceuticals, GWPH, the London-based company that's the one truly legitimate play, the only one I've ever endorsed on medicinal marijuana. Because it's based in Britain, GW Pharma can study the ingredients in the cannabis plant and use them to create genuine medicine. The company already has one product, Sativex, a mouth spray for multiple sclerosis spasms, that's currently on the market in 27 countries, even as it hasn't yet been approved in the U.S. Now, GW Pharma stock has been on fire, up more than 70% since we spoke to the CEO last December. And almost all of that because of a potential blockbuster in the company's pipeline, Epidiolex. That's an orphan drug that helps treat various rare types of pediatric epilepsy, like Dravet syndrome, where it's currently in phase three clinical trials. That's close. The results from Epidiolex have been incredibly positive in an area where there's a Real unmet need. Plus, GW Pharma has some promising early stage formulations, diabetes 2, schizophrenia. But most importantly, this company has a huge host of catalysts coming up over the next 12 months, which is why I think it could have more room to run, even after the tremendous gains we've already seen. But please remember, this is one of the most volatile stocks we talk about here on Mad Money. So we must always be careful how we buy this kind of stock. Limit orders, never all at once. So let's check in with Justin Gover. He's the CEO of GW Pharmaceuticals. Hear more about his company's prospects. Mr. Gover, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Thank you, sir. Nice to see you again. Thank you. First, congratulations on all your success. Thank you I very much. There are a lot of people who initially said, well, wait a second, uh, medical marijuana, I don't know. But... In truth, you're solving some unmet needs, and I think you got to talk about this epilepsy program because, from my doctor, who's also the candidly the CBS doctor, Jonathan Lapuki says this is the most important thing going. Right, and and when we talk about just to remind you, when we talk about medicinal marijuana, actually with GW we're talking about real science, right. looking at the components of the plant, developing them as bona fide prescription medicine. The plant is the source of the of the molecules. But what we end up with is a medicine like any other. Right, and that's important because right. you can duplicate it over and over. It's the same. It's not like when you go to these different pharmacy houses that have medical marijuana. It's like, who knows what's in it? Right. We know exactly what's in yours. GW, we've been going for 16 years, totally dedicated towards this effort. We have a unique skill set in standardizing these formulations, understanding what the requirements of FDA are with regard to these medicines, and really taking this forward and meeting the needs, some very serious unmet needs. Well, let's needs. talk about this epilepsy because apparently it's a very big unmet need. That's right. And, and you know, the, the passion that we have at GW is obviously one for the science, but primarily it's around meeting the needs of, of parents who have young children with some really very difficult uh, treatment-resistant forms of epilepsy. We've seen some very encouraging data, more since I was last on this show. And as you said in the introduction, we have some really critical milestones. We have four phase three trials up and running right now. Data from the first of those will be at around year end. The others will be early next year. So there's some really important inflection points coming for this company. And uh, other people told me, well, Jim, I know it's London based. I don't know anything about it. You hired someone uh, from Allergan, my new, as being a, a pretty terrific guy, and you're relocating here. Tell me about the changes. That's right. I mean, a, a few years ago, we were a, a small British, or, uh, British company. Things have changed dramatically over the last couple of years. If I think forward to the next two years, the, the, the pace of change is only going to continue. We've hu just hired the former president of, of North America for Allergan. Um, you know, $70 billion company um, to run our North American business. As CEO, I'm relocating to the United States as well to work alongside this individual. We have ambitions to build a U.S. commercial infrastructure. We're doing much more clinical research here in the United States as well. And this is the country in, in which our, our future lies and depends. OK, well, let's talk about that, because in this country, uh, it's still a Schedule One felony for many companies to do work with, with, with marijuana. Uh, and, and the government has kind of held that there's no medicinal value. How do you get around that? Well, we prove that there is medicinal value to the substances, the products that we're, we're seeking to treat. And that is possible in the United States today. A Schedule I substance can be researched in the United States. And so the trials we conduct obviously require significant oversight from the DEA and the FDA. But having completed those trials, the FDA approval facilitates access to a prescription medicine just like any other. And how do we, uh, as parents, uh, keep our kids from abusing? Well, the, the molecule that we're studying for epilepsy, as an example, does not make people high. It doesn't have THC, which is the component of marijuana which people associate with the high and the abuse. So here we have an interesting terminology issue. We have a marijuana plant 
but products and medicines which have a very different effect from marijuana as it's termed in recreation in the recreational world. Now, a lot of the bears uh, are at Jim Cramer on Twitter. They say, well, Jim, you know, you've liked the stock, but no real earnings. I mean, you know, come on. I mean, this is not a Pfizer. Well, I, I think that we know that drug stocks trade more on approvals. And it, it, there are a lot of biotech stocks, for instance, that started without a lot of earnings and turned out to be worth a lot of money. That's right. Uh, earnings are not the way in which we should be judging biotech companies at this point. I think, as you rightly said in your introduction, this is, drug development is a complex, it's a risky business, right. but the rewards are pretty uh, profound if, if drugs like this can come to realization and, and really make a difference to the lives of patients around this country and around the world. Now, I am very cognizant that we're talking about epilepsy, but I know there are people who always say, wait a second, uh, there's some very bad pain medicines currently uh, offered, uh, oxycodone. There's an epidemic of oxycodone. Is there any hope down the road that maybe something that is uh, less addictive, like a cannabinoid, could be used to combat pain? When we started GW, this was not just about epilepsy. It was about taking a class of drug, cannabinoids, that had been overlooked in modern history and taking them through and exploring their science. There are clearly analgesic, pain-relieving properties of cannabinoids. We're looking at diabetes. We're looking at schizophrenia. We're even looking at cancer treatments as well. So the epilepsy opportunity really unlocks, in my view, the potential of the platform which we've been creating over the last 15 years. One last question. Why does it work so well? Is it the receptors in people's bodies? What is it about this medicine that has such a far-reaching implication? Well, we're still, uh, as is often the case in drug development, elucidating mechanisms. But we have a really, you know, there is strong preclinical and pharmacologic rationale to support the anti-seizure effects of this cannabidiol, as well as the other potential effects of other cannabinoids in other disease areas. This well, is real science. All right, we're going to follow your company. We know that we've been behind it. I hear everything that I like to hear. Thank you so much. That's Justin Gobrich, the CEO of GW Pharmaceuticals. May have money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.